Hey everybody, welcome back to Tomcat Air Guns. Today I'm headed out to the field so I can share with you guys the DOA shooting bench. I'm going to set it up, break it down, talk about the pros and cons and put it through a little bit of use. Let's check it out. The DOA shooting bench is a high quality portable shooting bench made in the USA by a veteran out of Utah. It breaks down into two or three pieces depending on what you prefer and it's fairly easy to set up. This here is the base section with the seat attached. That's the alternative thing and I'll show you that later on how the seat comes right off. You can stow the seat separate from the base if you want. If you have a fairly flat surface that you're going to put this on, the base will actually stand on its own with all the legs folded up. In order to deploy the legs, you're just going to pull a bunch of these pins and start putting the legs down. You line up your holes and put your pin right back in. Now if there's a little bit of resistance in putting that pin back in, it just means that your holes aren't quite lined up. Once you get one leg down, you can actually raise the system up so you can work at a more comfortable level. With all three pins in place, you can move on to your seat. Once again, just pull the pin, bring the seat down, line up the hole and put the pin right back in. Since we're here, I'll show you about sliding the seat off. Just like that, the seat slides right off the whole unit. And that's nice because the seat's fabric with about two inches of foam on it. And if you wanted to protect this, let's say you, you were afraid something might spill on it or it might tear or get, get damaged in some way, you can put this inside, say, your car and the rest of it in the bed of your truck. The seat does swivel. In fact, it doesn't lock in place at all. Uh, in order to adjust the seat for height, Simply unscrew right here and bring that up. Let's say you have a child or someone short. Um, you can bring that seat up so they can shoot comfortably. And then real easy, you can bring it right back down. That should be good for me. And then just lower your seat right on top of that collar. Putting the top on is pretty easy. You can see it's got this big uh, piece of mounting hardware on the bottom. Just stick the post into the hole and let it drop down into place. Then just lock it down with the screw. Pretty simple. I'll go over some of the features of the DOA shooting bench from bottom to the top. So starting on the bottom, we've got these uh, swivel feet with rubber pads on the bottom. I've seen other shooting benches that don't have any feet on them. This is kind of a nice feature to kind of protect, if say you're gonna put this out on your deck like I do, uh, it kind of protects your deck a little bit from getting all beat up. It's all steel construction with just standard hardware. And you can tell, I tell guys, I've seen the ones and I've felt the ones that are made in China. And this, you can tell the quality when you feel the steel in your hand, you can just kind of, it just has that feeling to it of robust and heavy duty. Working our way up, we've got uh, just a plastic uh, screw on the collar. Now one thing, a little tip, if you guys end up with one of these is to make sure that this handle is not in the way of the leg coming up. And if it's tension, say like that, you have a greater chance of maybe doing some damage. As I stated before, the seat does swivel all the way around. Well, it also swivels at the base too. I really like that. It's a nice little option and two inches of foam is a real nice cushion as well. Nice camo print uh, cover on that. Um, just, it's comfortable. <laughs> Moving on to the top, the top is made of two pieces of plywood that have been sandwiched together. Now this isn't your normal Home Depot everyday run on the mill plywood. At Home Depot you'll find plywood that's seven plies. These sheets of plywood are 14 ply. So why is that important? Well when you think about wood and the grains going this way, it's very rigid in one direction and almost pliable in another. If you take those grains and you oppose them by gluing two pieces together, 
you add strength both directions. With plywood, normally you get seven plies of that strength. With this, you've got 14 plies times two, so when you think about it, it's a 28 ply plywood topped table. <laughs> and that's gonna add rigidity. The tabletops come in a really nicely finished either maple or birch top. Alternatively, you can get a camo pattern that kind of matches this outside edge here. So next, I'd like to point out some of the features on the bottom of the table. You got this big old custom made piece here that attaches the tabletop to the bottom. And here's the screw that you tighten down. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a hose clamp almost where the whole thing clamps around. And there's a little piece of plastic in here that does kind of two things. Once you tighten it down, it helps lock that table in place. Once you loosen it up, it kind of helps that table to slide around a little bit. It's also got a handle right here and that makes it real nice for carrying this table around. It is two sheets of, not two sheets, but it's two halves of plywood just about. So having a handle makes it real easy to carry. The last thing I want to point out is right in here where the table mounts to the base. There's some spacers in here which kind of tilt the front end of the table up. Why is that important? Well, it's not critical, but it does help. When it comes to stability and a bipod, the longer you extend your legs, the more unstable you tend to be. It's just a center of gravity type of thing. Having the table tilted up just a little bit might give you just that height advantage that you're already looking for, so you can keep your bipod just a little bit lower. Again, not a big deal, just something that's nice. The tabletop for the DOA shooting bench is 30 by 43. Now I've used other portable shooting benches in the past and they're not quite as big. And I really like the way this, uh, this works because on those other benches, I find my bipods all the way towards the front end and my sandbag is usually like right on the tail end. And depending on the type of rifle you're shooting, you might need a little bit extra room. They come in all different sizes. So it's nice to have a little bit of extra length to work with. The extra width is nice too, because that allows you a little bit more room for say a notepad if you're taking notes or bullets or gear of any kind. It just allows you just a little more room. So while it is a little bit bigger and takes up more space in the trunk or in the car or in the bed, once you get to shooting, it's well worth it to have all that room. This bench is designed to hold up to 500 pounds worth of shooter and gear combined. Now, why is that important? I mean, that's a lot of weight, <laughs> but that tells you about the makeup quality of it. I, wanna, I don't wanna say it's over-engineered, but it's kind of over-engineered in a way. It's kind of like the AccuTac bipods. These things are strong. I mean, I'm doing pull-ups off these things in another video. This is kind of going down that same path where it's designed to handle more than you're probably gonna give it. And what that adds up to is more stability, better quality, more bang for your buck. Speaking of buck, these come in at about $550, give or take a little bit. So they're not cheap. And that's why I'm making this video. So you can decide for yourself, is this a portable shooting bench that's right for you or not? Now, if you think I'm gonna come out here and not shoot a little bit, you are sorely mistaken. For you powder burner guys out there watching this, this is a modern day air rifle. It's 22 caliber. And if you haven't seen a modern day air rifle, it ain't your granddaddy's Daisy or Red Rider. Check them out, they are freaking incredible. But I'm gonna take some shots at about 50 yards and we can see how the table reacts to me sitting on it and cycling the action and so on and so forth. Well, it's the end of the day, and before I break this down, I wanted to go over some pros, cons, and shooter's perspective. Um, topping the list of cons, as usual, is gonna be price. $550 is quite a bit of coin to drop on a portable shooting bench. 
Is it worth it? Well, that's not for me to tell you. That's up for you to decide for yourself. And that's why I'm making this video is to help you with that decision. I've made my own opinion on it and uh, I'm happy with my purchase. Uh, additionally, on the list of cons, uh, when I go to take this top off, it's, it's tough. You know, loosen up the thing, obviously, and then you have to twist it back and forth while lifting. And like I said earlier, this is 30 by 43. Um, so it's basically a sheet of plywood that you're lifting and twisting at the same time. And it really does lock on here pretty good. In fact, if I want, I could lift the whole bench just by the top. Additionally, on the top, it is made of real wood. Why is that important? Well, this table isn't really meant to just be put out into the yard and left there year round. If you do that, the wood's gonna suffer and you're gonna start seeing that damage over time. So this bench wants to be a little bit more cared for than say some run of the mill plastic top. Another thing on the list of cons is the legs at the bottom. There's no way to adjust these for height differences. Once they're down, they're locked in place and that's that. So if you set your table up and it's kind of, it's tilted like this, there's no way to correct that unless you bring say a two by four, find a rock, do whatever. But are you gonna set up on a slope like this? Probably not, you're gonna find a more level place to, uh, to set your bench up at. On the pro side, let's start with the tabletop. It's nice and big, that 30 by 34 gives me all the room I need for my stuff, my gun, and I'm not, I'm not like squeezing for space at the front end or the back end. So I really like the size of it. I also like the natural wood color. It just warms the whole thing up. It's not just that dull, you know, solid color across the top of some synthetic material. I like the seat. I know it's a small thing, but I do like the seat. I like how it swivels this way, and I really kind of like how it swivels that way too. I didn't think this would be that important of a thing, but it's really kind of nice. Plus, two inches of foam on here, it, it's comfortable. <laughs> I like that the tabletop is tilted up just slightly. I wouldn't think that would be such a big deal, but I do really like it. I like the quality of the build. USA made quality, you can tell. I mean, this thing's beefcake. You can tell the steel is good and strong. You got that 500 pound weight rating. Not that I don't think anybody's ever gonna need it, but it's just over-engineered to that degree. I also like how easy everything is to get to and to move and to manipulate. So for setup and breakdown, this thing's pretty easy. And I like that about it. I like that I don't have to spend any more time than I have to setting it up. It just, it's easy. And while I know it's not a race setting up and breaking down tables, it's just nice not to spend all day doing it. I also like that the feet have rubber on the bottoms of them. It gives you the option at least to protect a surface that you might put this on, such as a deck or a concrete driveway. And you don't have to use them all the time. They flip up out of the way if you just don't want to use them for whatever reason. I recently went down to Texas for a shooting meet with some friends and I brought this with me and I brought another shooting portable shooting bench with me as well. And I told the guys down there, I said, look, I want you to try this out. I want you to just let me know how you feel about it. And if you see anything glaringly obvious about it. So they all took a turn and they sat in and oh, okay, oh, it's very nice, very nice. Like the, the top and everything and gave it some initial compliments. And I said, okay, thank you very much. Kind of let it, let it die out. Well, later on in the competition, we, they had a choice. You're gonna shoot down the lane and it doesn't matter if you sit in this bench or that one, they're sitting right next to one another. One was for the spotter, one was for the shooter. So they can choose. And they all gravitated towards this bench, just naturally gravitated towards it. And that tells you something. From the shooter's perspective, that tells you that for some reason, even if they don't know what it was, they like this one better. Just something to consider when you're considering whether or not to purchase this. So guys, that's really all I've got for you today other than watching me break this down and put it back in the truck. I hope you enjoyed this video review. As always, thanks for watching and happy shooting.
Take four. Never mind. Take five. Today I'm headed out to the field to show you guys the DOA shooting bench and go over some stuff.